All right, thanks for watching. And today I would like to solve a differential equation with a crazy twist, namely the equation y prime equals y squared. And in other words, which functions have the property that the derivative of the function is the same as a function squared? And now let's solve this one. So again, you could do the method with dy over dx and cross multiply, but not on this channel. So instead, let's just divide by y squared. So y prime over y squared equals 1. And this almost looks like the derivative of 1 over y. Except if you do this, you would get a minus y prime over y squared. So let's put a minus here just to correct it. And that equals 1. And then if you uh, integrate, you get minus 1 over y equals, I guess, x. Let's just use x uh, plus some constant. And so minus y, so if you take reciprocals, is 1 over x plus c which tells you that y is minus 1 over x plus c. And the first time I saw this, I was not convinced again, because uh, what does this reciprocal have to do with squares? But let me show you that indeed it does make sense. Well, let's differentiate this. So if you differentiate this, and I guess use the Chen Lu here, uh, you get so minus minus, so plus, so 1 over x plus c squared. And notice it is indeed uh, the square of this. So y prime is y squared. Weird, huh? Now, I told you there's a twist to this differential equation. And here is why. Let's try to solve it with, a, um, with an initial condition. And let's just, for the fun of it, do y of 0 equals 1. I wanted to do y of 0 equals 0, but that wouldn't work, I guess, other than the 0 solution. So then y of 0 equals 1. Let's plug this back here. So minus 1 over 0 plus c equals 1. So minus 1 over c equals 1. And then c, senor, you get c equals minus 1. So in the end, what that gives you is y equals minus 1 over uh, x minus 1. So that would work. You can check and there's actually a legit solution of this differential equation. But this one has some very interesting behavior. And let me show you with a picture. Because what does that look like? Well, it's almost like 1 over x, but the opposite. So we have this function, again, let's say this is you know, our xy plane, and we said at 0, it starts at 1. Okay. So that's good. But now notice this is asymptote at x equals 1. And what happens to this function? Well, it starts at 1, and whoosh, it just blows up. So this is an example of a differential equation where the solution blows up. So which means that the solution isn't always uh, defined for all time. And you're like, Payan, isn't there a theorem that says that differential equations you know, don't blow up in finite time? Well, yes and no, because it turns out here we do have an issue. Because if you consider the function x squared over the whole line, x squared over everything, the, even though this is continuous, it's not what's called Lipschitz continuous. So not Lipschitz on the whole domain, on R. And what does Lipschitz mean? So remember what continuity is. It means small inputs give you small outputs. And it's still true here, like small inputs should give you small outputs. But relatively speaking, even though this is really small, this change, it's still really big. So even though it's continuous, it's not Lipschitz continuous. Lipschitz continuous means if this is very small, the output should also be relatively small. But this is not what's happening. And because of this not Lipschitz condition, uh, we do have that this equation blows up. So 
The point is, your assumptions are very important. All right, I hope you like this. If you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.